Today on Drawing with Molly, let's draw a sea turtle. Okay, today when we draw, the things you'll need are uh, paper, and you can just use any paper, a pencil, and an eraser, and something to color with later. I'm gonna use crayons today, but you can also use colored pencils. So today we're gonna draw a turtle, and not just any turtle, we're gonna draw my favorite, which is a sea turtle. So sea turtles can go up and down um, in the water. They can swim on the top and they can swim on the bottom. They can, um, they can breathe on water, but they do live underwater. So um, they do need to stay underwater most of the time. So we're gonna start by drawing the top where the water is. Now to draw the water, you just draw your waves. You go up kind of like this, okay? But right here, I wanna have it where the sea turtle just went up to the water and down. So the water's gonna be kind of disturbed a little bit. And so I'm gonna draw like a big wave here, a big wave here, maybe a little ripple, maybe a little wave right there. And then I'm gonna keep drawing regular waves going across. And I don't know, I'm sorry, this, this is the shadow of my phone. I don't know why it's a very dark day today, so I don't have much light, so I apologize for that. I need a better light in here. Now, the water kind of splashed a little bit, so just draw your little drops, maybe four or five, going whichever direction. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, right below, well, we're gonna go about here. So kind of draw a line down. We don't want it right up here because we need room for his legs. We're gonna draw the body here, but kind of picture where his legs are gonna go. So I want you to draw a triangle that looks like this, that's just sitting on a base like that. And then you're gonna draw another triangle that meets it, but not as big. It's gonna be a little smaller, a little shorter. I'm gonna draw a line right here where the tip is gonna go and watch what I'm gonna do. Like, it's right in the middle. I'm gonna draw a line there and draw a line there to make the rest of the triangle. Okay, now let's add his head. In fact, I can erase that little dot I did. Let's draw his head. So I want you to draw just a, two lines coming out right there and there for his neck. And then I want you to draw a circle around there. Now this is your turtle's head. You can make it as big as you want. Some turtles, like loggerhead turtles, have gigantic heads. They are huge. And then like little green turtles have just little heads like that. In fact, I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger because I wanna make sure I have like eyes and you know, room for eyes. I don't wanna have too small a head, but I don't want, I'm not drawing a larger head turtle. There we go. Okay, so then let's draw his face. Um, before I was showing you how to draw eyes and you can draw little, just draw little eyes like that if you want, or you can draw eyes like that and I think I'm gonna just draw I think I will draw eyes that look like this let's put them right about here now he's looking forward you're looking up on top of him above him and then I'm just gonna draw little half circles here because he's just looking over here and turtles don't have like a nose like you and I do but they do have little slits like that they don't have eyebrows, but we're gonna give them eyebrows just to make them cute. All right, let's give him some fins. Now, if you drew the penguins, it's the same thing. Penguins have wings that are shaped like fins. So we're gonna go curve around like this and start up here. That was kind of on the corner. Start up here and we're gonna curve around same way, except you're gonna come around and meet. So you'll do the same thing. Try to make it the same size and shape as the other side, but no two, you know, just like, you know, my left foot looks different than my right foot, so it's okay if the penguin's wings don't look exactly the same. They won't. 
So let's see how that one's bigger than that one. And that's okay. Okay, now we're gonna have um, back fins. Same thing. I'm gonna start not on the tip of the triangle, but right up a little bit, and I'm gonna go down. And then up here, I'm gonna start in the middle of that first triangle we did, and I'm gonna go down and around like that. Same thing over here. I'm gonna start right here, go down, go up a little bit, down, and around. Okay, now let's use our eraser for a second, because there's the fins, and this is his shell. Now, turtle shells don't have a line right in the middle, so I want you to erase that line so it just looks like a, a shell. I'm gonna show you how to draw the pattern on his shell, or her shell. So I like to just do kind of blobs, like circles. There's one. I can do another one right here. They aren't really even. You can kind of see how this, I'm gonna go around here. I'm gonna kind of use this space and I'm just, my blob is gonna kind of fit in that space. So like here, I'm gonna have my blob go in there and then this one will fit in there. You can also just draw circles. If it's easier for you, I'll make a big one right there. Okay, it's called the tortoise shell pattern for turtles. They do have bubbles coming out. I'm gonna have some bubbles coming out of them. Maybe I'll do th three here and two there. Now he's diving down and turtles will eat coral. So we're gonna make a big coral. Um, let me move this down a little bit. We're gonna make a big space for coral down here. So I'm gonna move this. Okay, so down here at the bottom, I, coral just has like, it's super easy to draw. Just kind of draw shapes. So I can just draw a shape where it looks like that. And then it all kind of, grows together so you can just draw another shape that looks like that and it all is I mean it touches so you can have one right in front that goes over here and this one goes over here so just draw kind of shapes you can leave a blank sometimes there's sand in between coral formations go make another one right there I've been scuba diving before where the turtles just kind of hang out here in the, where, in the middle of the coral and just kind of hang out. So they like to eat the coral and they like to eat the, um, like the animals that live on the coral too. It's really kind of cool when you're underwater, you can hear them crunching on it. Okay, if you would like to add other fish, you can, just like we did with the aquarium. Um, because I want my turtle to be the, Main point of my picture, I'm just gonna draw my regular fish. But you can draw different kinds of fish if you want. Maybe later I'll do a, how to draw different kinds of fish, but I think I'll do three up there. And maybe I'll do one down here too. He's hanging out below the coral. Okay, that looks pretty good. That one was pretty easy. So now when we color, let's color the turtle first. Now I'm gonna try to grab as many green, actually I have two colors of green. I have light green and dark green. And I'm gonna use both. If you only have one or the other, press hard to make it darker or real light to make it light. So I'm gonna start with my dark green and I'm gonna trace around all of the parts of the turtle, including his head. It's okay, if, I, if I'm not exactly on the pencil line, I can erase it after I color. Goes all the way around, like 
that. I'm also going to trace around all of my circles. And that just might, it doesn't take as long as you think it would because you've already decided where the circles are going to go. So you're just going to trace around. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll use my light color and I'm going to color inside all my circles. Or you could have used your dark green and colored lightly. In fact, I'll show you how to do that because part of the turtle I want to have light lighter than that, but not this light. So I want the shell to be kind of just a lighter green. So I'm ever so carefully coloring in around. It's not actually harder because if I go into my, it's kind of cool if I go over my circles, my tortoise shell pattern, it just, you know, you know, a tortoise or a turtle wasn't ever going to be just one color. They're kind of a mix of different kinds of colors and they're really pretty. And then same thing here. I'm going to just take my crayon and just lightly color in fins. Here and the fins here. And his face. Now let's take a black and trace over his face that you drew. And if you need to, you can always use a pencil and just do it a little darker if you're, you know, like my black is not as sharp as it once was, so next time I might need to use a pencil or a colored pencil. So you can see, you can barely see that line, so I, I can even make it a little darker so you can't see that pencil line. So there's our turtle. Let's go down, Col uh, coral is super, super colorful. There's reds and yellows and oranges, so I'm just gonna kind of grab some colors and trace first. I'll trace that and then this part will be red. And then let's do some yellow. This guy right here will be yellow. And we'll do a purple. They really are just every color you can think of down there. A lot of orange too. The further down, further underwater you get, the deeper you get, the less colors you can see just because of the light. Kind of like today, it's not a very bright day so you're not going to see. I see a lot of shadows in my color so I'll have to fix that for our next video, get some more light down here. And oh, what did I say, orange? Lots of oranges, we'll do. And I like to do like here, I'm gonna do this color orange for here. Can't see it, sorry. And then I'm gonna do a lighter orange for this part right next to it. I didn't quite get to the edge and that's okay because Sometimes I like it when pictures just kind of trail off at the end. You can't really see because it's supposed to keep going. You know, there's more color. There's more coral on that side too. Over here, let's do this violet color for this part. And we'll do, we haven't done a green. There's a green coral too. We'll do green right here. Here, and we'll color in the violet. I'm coloring fast, and I am coloring in. You can see I'm leaving some white spaces. 
and that's okay too. Just try to fill in as much as you can. You know, a, the coral doesn't have like, isn't exactly all that color, so part of it might be a lighter, lighter areas here or darker, so it's okay. Now, fish underwater are super colorful too. I always like to stick a dory in there, you know. Dory. Uh, let's go with an orange one up here. Maybe that's Nemo. We'll do a purple one down here. And over here. Let's see. What a pink one. What a pink fish. Okay, so there's our fish. Let's go back up here for our water. I'm going to take a blue and I'm going to trace right on my waves here. Up. You can see where it kind of went bloop. You can kind of even hear the word bloop in there. There we go. Okay. Now, we're gonna want to fill this in with blue. Now, just like the aquarium picture we did, you're, it's gonna take you a long time to fill in all of that with blue and your, your crayon will go um, completely dull. So, let's do our bubbles here. If you wanna give the fish some bubbles, you can give him some bubbles. All right, so very lightly, just do like a little bit at a time, just a little bit. You can crisscross it like this because the water, underwater kind of, there are different kinds of blues that you'll see underwater. It just depends on the way the sun is coming through, shining down through it. So it's okay if you just do like little bits like here. There. You can get definitely get around the turtle. You're gonna want to probably get up here where he plopped down. thing you're going to want to do is sign it. I think I'll sign it over here. Okay. Enjoy drawing your turtle. that one? Oh, oh, wait. You like that one? You like the turtle? What do you think? Is that one good? <laughs>